Yeah. It is now 45 minutes after 7. This morning we've been remembering Desi Arnaz with some of the friends who worked with him, respected him, and loved him. We are now going to talk with the people, two people, who were part of the original I Love Lucy series. Keith Thibodeau was five years old when he was cast as little Ricky Ricardo, the son of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. And Mary Jane Croft played Betty Ramsey. Remember the Ricardo's next door neighbor in Connecticut? And Keith and Mary Jane are both with us this morning from Los Angeles. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Good morning. Keith, think back to that time. You were five years old, and here all of a sudden you became part of this family that we all grew to love and seemingly to know so well. What are your memories uh, of Desi Arnaz on the set, how he treated you and helped you? Well, uh, I was sorry to hear Desi had passed away. And uh, uh, he was a secure force there for me as a child actor. And uh, he was a very kind man, and uh, he... Uh, he just treated me like a father would. I think about 200 uh, young people were interviewed and, all of it, and they couldn't cast this part and all of a sudden you came along and they said, this is the one. Why do you think that was? What was it about you? Uh, I looked like Desi, I believe, at the time. And uh, uh, that, they liked that part about me. And then uh, I played the drums also, which more or less cinched the part for me. And their real son was, I think, a little younger than you at the time, right? Right. So when, when they saw you play the drums, that did it? That did it, yes. Mary Jane, what do you remember? How, how much was Desi around the set? Well, I remember his tremendous energy. And <laughs> the thing that always absolutely left me bug-eyed was that we would read the script at the beginning of the week, Desi would put it down, and never return until the dress rehearsal a couple of days later because he was in his office wheeling and dealing and talking with networks and talking with agents and doing producing other shows and uh, then he'd come back do the rehearsal direct a few people look through the camera and he would be letter perfect after reading the script only once and we're all stumbling our lines are trying to come <laughs> through and uh, and then he, he was saunters tremendous. and does it right what was it what would you what do you recall as his approach to comedy it seemed to come very natural to him. Uh, it was, it was, of course, that comedic Cuban fellow he did was a part of him. But uh, and then he switched and was very businesslike, but would Im immediately come into a scene and be terribly funny. I just watched a clip. <laughs> and I laughed again. I've seen it so many times. And I read where he said, don't overdo it. Play it very believably and play it naturally. Oh, absolutely. That was his rule. If you cry, you know, cry funny. Don't cry real cry. And uh, he, he was, uh, he was incredible. Keith, you've said that he made it very easy for you, that he, was, that he really made it very obvious what he wanted. You became very close friends and continued to see the family afterwards. What did you do? What did you do on those weekends that you spent with the family? Well, uh, you know, Desi taught uh, me and little Desi and little Lucy how to fish and swim and ride horseback. And, uh, you know, he just, just... Uh, just what normal kids would do, you know, just, we, he, you know, anything we wanted, uh, you know, he, he just gave us, you know, just, I was part of the extended family, so to speak. Well, we thank you both for sharing your memories of Desi Arnaz with us here this morning. Thank, thank, you. thank you both you. very much. Bye-bye. And we are going to look at a famous scene coming up next. Uh, we'll be back right after this.